Hello, I just wanted to go over uh, the components of the Jingle Bells fingerstyle arrangement that is on the blog. Um, there's really two things um, that this arrangement focuses on. One is on the um, consistent repetition of the thumb. As a matter of fact, the opening uh, part of this is, um, is just an alternating thumb on the sixth string and the fourth string. And it's over a G chord, but the only note you're really playing of the G chord is the is the bass note at the third fret of the sixth string. So the thumb is doing this. That's how the piece starts out. And then you're using your first two fingers, your index and your middle finger, um, on the third string and the second string and you're playing the melody of Jingle Bells. Sounds like this. Hear that? So when you combine this with your fingers doing this at the same time sounds like this. That's the sound we're going for. Your, your fingers and the thumb are, are working together every single time. You may have some extra thumb beats in there, but your fingers are always going with your thumb. So there's no syncopation where your fingers would, and thumb would be working opposite each other. This is what the arrangement sounds like. Uh, from beginning to end, I'm going to play it at a slower, medium tempo um, so you get an idea of what it should sound like and you can see uh, the parts happening. Um, the written music is in tablature and in standard notation uh, and it has chord diagrams so you can kind of um, see what shape she should be playing. And it's really limited to just G, C, D, and then there's a special chord, an A chord, but it's an A sus chord sounds like that. So here's the arrangement um, and I'm sure you can then pick out, if you've heard the song Jingle Bells before, you can use your ear to kind of find out where some of these melody notes are. But here's, here's the full arrangement. Have fun with Jingle Bells.